CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Hi guys, James Faulkner again reporting for CATV. Now today I thought I would catch up with one of the older, more senior members of the Australian cricket team, George Bailey. George, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Jim. Haven't given me much there. It's always a pleasure to sit next to you on the couch and talk a little bit of uh, a dribble. Now, uh, I'll do all the talking as, as normal, but uh, firstly I'd like to congratulate you on being player 436 and get your baggy green, last test match, so well done there. Thanks very much. That's an honour. How are you uh, feeling going into the test match and now after the test match? Uh, pretty nervous before the, before the test match, obviously following on from player 435 to mm. debut, which was your, your lovely self. I was a little bit, well, big shoes to fill. Yeah. Uh, so that, that was that, was that pressure as, long as, as well as trying to play for Australia. But great result. Team played really well. So one up coming into this test and uh, I think there's a really good feeling around the group. Yeah, definitely. I thought you summed that up in a nutshell. Big shoes to fill. Now, uh, George, I've done a little bit of research on you. I know how much you love Google. We always talk about Google back in Tasmania. Have you Googled me? I've Googled you, George. So, uh, Come on. A few statistics there. Yeah. Firstly, it popped up and it said that you're 80 kilograms. Is that true? No, I've lost a couple. I reckon, yeah, they could probably, they could probably update that. I'm probably around the 78, 78? kg. Yeah, mm. not much of me. Yeah, good work there. It says uh, you're 31. Your Tasmanian captain and also fill in with the Australian captaincy when Michael Clark's absent. And the, the one I wanted to know about, I'm sure the fans want to know about, when they type George Bailey into the Google search engine, it says nickname Hector. Can you please explain that to the people out there? I can. Jim, you've done some really good research. Very good research, well yes. Done. Jim, you found out my age and what I weigh. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Uh, Hector is a, there's really only one person in the world who calls me Hector and that's Jamie Cox, who was a uh, former Tasmanian captain, now working over here. In, in for the South Australian Cricket Association, and he he became a little suspicious one uh, pre-season um, back in my my university days, and I was spending a lot of time um, living with some housemates. My regular housemate Xavier Doherty was away, so I was just a bit lonely, mm -hmm. and I was shacking up with my with my best mate Hector. Uh, and Jamie thought there might have been a little something going on there between us. You can see it. Yeah, and, uh, and I, that's really it. He just started calling me Hector. That's a good story. I'm sure everyone will be grateful for story. that Story. It was just a story. Just a story? Yeah, no truth to okay. the rumours. <laughs> okay. I'll put that straight. It's a good start. Yeah. He's getting married soon, Hector. Is he? Mm. Mm. Congratulations to him. Yeah. I've met Hector a couple of times. A lovely bloke. Good fella. Yeah, very good fella. Now, on the serious questions... Uh, I've got a couple here from the public that they've sent in. Firstly, we've got uh, Bill from Bendigo. Uh, oh, you... <laughs> you made this up, didn't you? No, this is from Cricket Australia. They get it online. <laughs> right. Uh, so Bill from Bendigo said, how do, you, how do you prepare when switching from Test Cricket, ODIs and T20? Good question, Bill. Uh, well, I try and keep it pretty much the same. I, I think that's... Um, I think that's a key. I think if you're changing too much, or then it's probably a little bit difficult. But one thing I, I tried to learn off Mike Hussey was that he, he tried to prepare um, the same no matter what the format was, with the subtle differences. Obviously, um, you know, red balls, you might look to play certain conditions. So here in Adelaide, we've been preparing for test cricket with a little bit of reverse swing. There might be a little bit of spin. So you spend a little bit more time working on that. Whereas one day cricket, you might work on some specific areas you're trying to hit or whatnot. Yeah, spot on. I think the best players in world cricket can adapt quite quickly. That's probably why George is, is lucky enough to be playing all three forms at the moment for his country. So it's a, it's a great job he's done so far, and I'm sure there's plenty of runs, what are you doing plenty with of runs to come. Are you using it or am I using We're it? We're both using right it. It's in the middle. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, the next question. What are you doing in your downtime? It's from Sam from Swansea. Sammy, um, Swansea in Tasmania, do you reckon? Where's Could be. Swansea? I normally hang out with you. Um, when do you return my phone calls? Yeah, I, I do screen, screen you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Screen well, you the other morning on the way to the airport. Yeah, yeah I'll do that a little yeah. bit. Uh, I like to read a little bit. Mm. Um, just chill out, really. If I'm at home, I do like to garden. Yeah, that's I, what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I, I really do like spending a bit of time in the garden, and um, which is, I'll be a good old man, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, we'll fly through a couple of quick questions here. Your favourite restaurant in Adelaide? Since we're in Adelaide at the moment, preparing for the second test. Where do you venture out at night time for a nice feed? Uh, where I took you last night, actually, that on our little good, dinner actually. date. I, uh, yeah. a, a little a mate of Dan Marsh's, who is the, the Tasmanian coach at the moment, Melt Pizzeria. Beautiful. Yeah, very very good. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I was mm. quite impressed with that. Um, Thanks, boys. Free pizzas, please. We've, 
Uh, we've got a question actually from a team member. Oh, right. Eh? <laughs> is it true or false? There's a rumour going around that you might have one day ripped your shirt off in the middle of the Brisbane Mall. Uh, it's true, but I was well, I was doing a fashion shoot, Were so you? yeah. So it was. So was, what happened? Well, I was just got in the moment. And I was, yeah, I was just sort of. I was probably more um, Hansel than Zoolander, but I was just. <laughs> I was just into it. Um, the thing I didn't really think about pre-ripping it open was that it was the middle of winter and I did have my great Tassie tan on um, <laughs> and I probably, it didn't look great and I reckon I might have been at 81 kilos there. Ooh. Yeah, it wasn't great, it wasn't great. But uh, the modelling offers have been flying in ever since so it obviously <laughs> did something right, didn't it? The confidence was obviously out there. Didn't yeah, you? I had bad hair then too. You still do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a tough question, mm. I have to ask you, how do I get my spot back? You've taken my spot last test match. I'm a, I know I'm a great Gatorade stirrer. Yep. I even got my own spoon. I provided my own spoon. Massive yeah. big spoon, yeah. You probably haven't seen that yet. But um, how do I get it back? Ah, it's a good question. It's a good question. I'm probably not going to give mine up. Well, I'm hoping <laughs> I don't give it up to you really easily. So, I don't know, mate. Who can we hobble? Do you reckon I'll just strengthen up the triceps and just, you know, practice that, get that down pat? The tricep. Yeah, well, I've got to carry out 12 drinks. Oh, the drinks, drink. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, look, I think you're going all right at the moment. Yeah, yeah just ticking along. Yeah. Um, wear the sunscreen, though. Yeah, wear all oh, Well, you and I have to wear the sunscreen. Yeah. I think you're in that all rounders role, aren't you? So if, yeah. the, if, the, if, uh, if Watto's not bowling or if Watto's injured, then a chance to come in. Um, the whacker, maybe, with a little bit of pace and bounce. You've worked a little bit with the great DK, haven't you? Yeah, DK. Yep. Yeah, DK, so, great bloke. One of, um, one of Australia's. Premium, no, ex-premium fast bowlers, Dennis Lilly. Yep. You're a popular 12th man, though. Yeah, bring great humour, I think. Uh, good oh. hair. Good <laughs> hair. That's what the boys have been talking about. And humble. And humble, yes. Yeah, that's sport on the hood. <laughs> now, uh, I haven't got any more questions from you. I know we had a few floating in, but you've done very well. Thanks very much. So I'd just like to thank you for coming on CATV. It's always a pleasure to catch up with you. Hopefully we don't have dinner too many times this week. <laughs> But, once um, or twice more, I reckon. Yeah, be maybe once or twice. But I uh, wish you all the best, George, for the, the summer. Um, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of runs and hopefully some run outs. Um, and all the best. Thanks, James. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thanks, George. Good salad. <laughs> <laughs> We're done.